A couple years ago, I was looking at all the water bottles I had in my recycling bin and I would wonder where they would end up. And then one day, I realized that the plastic material in the water bottles looked a lot like the material I was used to 3D print things. And then it all hit me. What if I were to build a machine that took my water bottles and gave them a second life through my 3D printer? So I actually did. I built the first machine that had a lot of problems. And then I built the second, which was definitely an upgrade. And then I got this machine that made it all even easier. And throughout the past two and a half years, I tried and tried again to actually print properly, which was a whole other ball game. Until one day I actually learned how to print. Things like this middle finger plant pot, this plant saucer, this mini water bottle, this fern plant. And now I realize that those water bottles I once looked at as trash now have a whole different meaning. And it reminds me that to sustain nature, for me, it's not necessarily always a place, but a promise to protect mother earth, the one force that sustains us. And that constantly learning along the way in anything you do is so important. For me, learning how plastic can become something useful instead of ending up in landfills has actually taught me that self-discovery and personal growth are embedded within sustainability. But it's not just one thing that one person does to help protect environments around us. It's about everyone coming together globally and doing small things each in our own ways. So as we approach CNN's call to Earth Day, I remember the actions that we can all take to make a really big difference. And now it's so exciting that I'll never have to wonder where my water bottles end up and I get to give each of them a second life, one bottle at a time.